Here oh, we are. There you are, you ugly son of a bitch. At Bly Manor. At Bly. Did, how was the ending of that? Uh, you know, I finished it last night. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad. You, just, you definitely gotta push through it. Really? It's kind of slow for a while, yeah. I forget which one's motion. Def motion is the little red, th this one here with the red and the green. And then these little white ones here, little white boys are the sound sensors, which are probably more gotcha. more useful than the motion. Okay, motion we can literally motion. complete all those agendas. Well, that's good. I'm setting up the video. Did you grab a sound sensor, Michael? Uh, I grabbed a motion. I would use a sound sensor. You could cover more area with that. You brought an infrared, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Find evidence for paranormal with an EMF. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event and capture a photo of said ghost. The ghost name is Car Carol Anderson. Carol Baskins. The Anderson home. We're going in. We're going to investigate the Anderson home. All right. Do you want to cut an interview to any future interns? See, I hear the, the fucking feedback. Engines. God damn it. Really? I don't hear that. I, I, don't I, on my end, I hear me, like, again, echo. What the heck's your problem, man? All right, cut, a, cut an interview. All right, cut the interview. We're over. Oh. All right. The show's been canceled. No more of this. Wouldn't that be crazy if the EMF started going off right now? I don't know. We thought it was... We can't walk into this place. We thought it was crazy that... The uh, take that key. You got the key. Take the car keys. We're gonna steal people's stuff. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. Give me all your love. Put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag. Okay. Sure, would that be from your checkings or savings? I heard a noise, Mike. What'd you hear? So I went down in the basement, it didn't get any lower than 57. Gotcha. No 57 sauce, huh? I've got nothing on the EMF so far, but I'm gonna set up a motion sensor right over here, Mike. Word. Oh, god damn it. And you should put one in the basement, maybe? Well, I freaking. How, how does it set up on the wall? Just look at the wall. Oh, there it is. And there you go. All right, I'm gonna grab another motion sensor. We're gonna we're gonna get this house freaking all covered, man. I don't know. Well, do we you... got sounds all over the place, dog. That's the basement. Got one in the basement. I saw one in utility. So you set up. That's the motion right there. Yeah, the the yellow box. We overlap a little bit with where we set them. Mm. But it's showing that we have a reading of point two in the basement. It might be so our I basement. I say we then. should go up. We should go upstairs. Well, when I first came in here, there was a huge one in utility, but that could have been maybe you were moving through the house for a little bit. Oh, that! Oh, dude, where you put it, Mike, ended up being in the main floor, not the actual basement. Rip. So I'll take another motion. Yeah, I grabbed another one. I'm going to assume it's in the basement. I'm going to set this up. Hold up, Bill. You're by yourself. Bill. Oh.
All right, I set up everything. What'd you say? I set up everything. I set up one in the basement and one in the garage. Get this hallway right here. Yeah, I set up a sound sensor right here, Mike. I just seen it go off, dude. Alright, I'm gonna grab more equipment. Dylan, they got a spike of seven right now. In what area? It's a ten. In the foyer utility. Drop back down to a uh, six. The foyer's popping back up. All right, you're out. Do we know where she's at or no? I, I really don't know yet. I haven't gotten a single thing on EMF. Well, look at the basement. The basement's steady. Yeah. Which room is the utility? Is that the closet? Yeah, we've got... Uh, yeah, because I put one over by the garage, Mike. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be like... Down here, I think. The garage... Yeah, the garage is right here, so... That that room right above the garage, Mike. Mm. That's the that's the utility. Gotcha. That's the first sound sensor I put up. We we honestly should move the one sound sensor to the back corner of the garage so we can pick up the whole garage. But I I think the garage is gonna be pretty much excluded at this point. Look, the basement stopped. I think she's in the basement. Well, we can put a sound sensor down there too. I put a. Uh, is that in motion? Oh, no, that's a sound down there. You got okay. a sound sensor right there. Yeah, the motion is just going to show up as a red bar, Mike. See that red bar right there? Right in the center of the map? Mm-hmm. That's the, that's the motion sensor. I'm baking. It's the basement. Well, let's head down there. I'll set up a motion sensor. Um, do, you have the, do you have the thermometer? Check for temperature down there? I, I was just going to throw the book in the... Uh, Radio on there. Yeah, I know, but we don't know if it for sure is the room or not. But... Hmm. Ready? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. Moving. I think okay. that's a good spot there. Perfect. Oh. Oh, I heard, I heard the spirit box. Yep. Set it up. So we already got one. Aha! I was right. It was the basement. Ooh, look at the sound everywhere, dude. It just popped up. Uh, it's probably still picking up from us. Mm -hmm. through there. Yeah, because it has that like 15 second delay or something. Yep. Alright, so the spirit box was quick, so that's good. Oh, we just got something on the motion sensor. See the bar is green now? Lots of activity on that motion sensor. Okay. Uh, spirit box. Boy, there's a lot of different things it could still be at. We should set up a camera down there. Yep. 
Are we doing one camera down there? It don't matter. We have two set up and ready to go. Oh, yeah, we can do Ooh, two. Look at that sound down there, Mike. Basement went crazy now. You want two different angles in the basement? Well, that's fine by me. Like, whatever. That, that'll be that'll be an easier way for us to find uh, orbs. If we need to. Hold up, Dylan. Turn on the camera before I. There, my camera's on. Let's get it. This is why we're the barely legal ghost hunters, because we take our job seriously. Yeah. Barely legal. Easy money, dog. Easy money. Where are you setting that one up, Mike? Right here. Oh shit, Dill. What's up? She's here. How can you tell? I hear. Let's go. We have to get out of here. She just uh, targeted me. Damn it. What's up? She targeted me. I should have left my EMF down there on the floor. Wasn't thinking. Yep, right there. She got me at the five. Oh, I just seen an orb. Oh, well, we might have orbs. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Big time orbs. That's my cam there. So it's either a right. mayor or a gin or a poltergeist. It would make sense if it was a. I don't think it's a gin. Yeah, and I don't think it's a mare either, to be honest with you. We gotta check for fingerprints. There's the motion again. It's it's moving a lot. It's really active. We had to notice freezing temperatures right off the rip. Yeah, no, I don't think there's freezing temps. I think we need to check. Let's see, Is it, it hasn't been flickering any lights, though, so I don't know where we'd look for fingerprints. It hasn't messed with the doors. <clears throat> If it's a mare, yeah, that'd be freezing temps. Uh, if it was a gin, it'd be EMF level 5. I think fingerprints is our best check. Cause that, that would make it a poltergeist. I think it's a poltergeist. Because if it was a gin, we would have already been... Oh, is there something spilled on the floor, Mike? Yeah, what is that? What the hell is that? It looks like liquid spilled on the floor. Unless I'm seeing something. No, I think you're oh, right, man. Sound now. Oh, shit. I just saw a big spike in sound. You're both oh, pop of sanity. The ghost event, Mike. Hmm. Yep, I got the ghost event. We should. I'm gonna drop the EMF reader down there. We need to capture a photo of the ghost as well. Hold what do you up. have on you right now, Mike? Um, UV and the flashlight. Okay, take the EMF too, and I will take a smudge stick set up here. Cool. And then I'll smudge it when we get down there. Yep. Just to settle it down a little bit. Sounds good. You ready? Yep. And you can just drop the EMF in there when we get in there. Yeah. So. Are you smudging right through the front door? Or are you gonna wait and smudge down in the basement? No, I'll wait till we get into the basement. Gotcha. I don't want it to be burned out before we get down there. Oh, it's not liquid dill, it's whatever that is. Oh. Oh, there it is. What's the EMF reading? Pick it up. Uh, that's probably better that I just hold it. Three. Oh, fingerprints. 
Let's oh, go. Oh, yeah, we're at. Right here on the light switch. Sick. Well, we have a poltergeist, boy. Done. And that means all we need to do now is capture a photo. That's the best which part. Which might be pretty dangerous down in the basement. Yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> Catching photos in the basement is the worst. Ooh, look at that spike we just got. Good thing we got out of there when we did, Mike. Yep. I knew better. Ooh. We have one smudge stick and one crucifix. I'm going to go ahead and mark it in my book that it is a poltergeist. True. I need to do that too. Would have would have completely forgotten about that. Um okay. We need to get some photo evidence, dude. All right. What's Poltergeist's weakness? It just says empty rooms. Yeah, which we can't take. We, there isn't enough of us to take all that shit out of there. <laughs> uh, do you want to pop some pills before we go down in there? Probably. I mean, we're, we're only at 50%. I mean, it's not nothing crazy, but... Yeah, now we're back at... Did you pop yours? You got a camera? Yeah. Yep. Um, maybe I'll grab another smudge stick and we'll smudge it again? I don't know. What's in your inventory? Worth doing it. I've got the lighter, the smudge stick, and a flashlight. Cool. I'll but take... I can switch my flashlight mic to, uh, to a UV light. To well, get those pictures. Well, you don't, we don't need the UV light anymore. I already got, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, probably. I didn't know if you want to get a picture of the fingerprints. Yeah, grab it. It's right there. Okay, well, I'm either going to... Do you want me to not do the smudge stick this time around and keep my flashlight, or? If you're with me, you don't really need the flashlight. You know, you know what, Mike? I I did some research on how to. Oh, you must have the the UV light. No, it's right here. Where is it? I don't, I don't even see it. Oh, it's way up there. Oh, I see it. Okay. Um, I did some looking into what you need to do for the, or what how to use the crucifix. Mm-hmm. So. I'm gonna grab that and throw that down in there. So, let's, what, let's what'd do you that. learn? Um, I learned that it is a two time use item. And if you find the room, if you if you put, like, usually when a ghost starts hunting, they start hunting from the room that, they're, that you find them in, you know? Mm -hmm. Their room. And the crucifix will stop them from hunting if you put it in, in the center of the room. So, like, if they begin to hunt and they start flashing, it makes the light flash, then, uh, but you have to have it down before the hunt starts. So, so there it put is. it right down there. UV on this right here. And... Okay. You might need to turn your flashlight off. Back up a little bit. Did it count? Um, I don't know. Yep. Yep. Now we just have to... Ooh, he said death. Eesh. Someone pissed off poultry guys there. Here's the problem. If it comes down the stairs, we're fucked. No, I wouldn't just run to the crucifix, because if it runs... If it, if it makes any contact in that, that radius that the crucifix creates... It stops the hunt. Oh, okay. But I don't want to. I don't want to be on the other side of it in case it spawns in the back of the basement back there. Then you're stuck. Right. Anderson, get out here. We gotta go home. Carol Baskins. Carol Baskin. <laughs> Adult. It's an adult. I yes, I am an adult. Thank you for noticing. Adult. You know what sucks though? It usually yeah. spawns right there at the base of the stairs. Eh, it's, I've seen it spawn back by that camera too. I've never seen them spawn on the back. I've always seen them spawn right here. Uh, you probably don't see them until they're at that point. We never usually have a cross uh, laid down. I suppose. 
because usually when your light starts flashing, you can see them right away where they first start, and then. Well, if you, fl I'll I'll keep focus on the stairs. If you keep focus to the left. Yep. And then we'll. Yep. I got so. you. I got you covered, dog. We're the we're the barely legal ghost hunters. We the know how to do this. The barely legal. We're only half the crew, too, huh? Only two of us. <laughs> Hopefully, we both make it home. What did he say in the box that time? He said, eat it. Carol eat Baskins. It. Eat, eat it, it, Carol it. Baskins. Eat it. Here, kitty, kitty. How come you always such a fussy young man? Don't want no Captain Crunch. Don't want no Raisin Bran. Well, don't you know that... Uh, oh, there he is! Stairs. <gasps> Stairs, Dill. Did you see that? The crucifix stopped it, Mike. Did, Did it really? Yeah, I got a picture. Yeah. Dude, she was walking right up to me. I would have been dead if that crucifix wasn't on the ground. 100%. Yep. That was clutch. Damn, son. Look at she that. She was ugly as fuck. <laughs> Barely, look, look at this picture, Dill. Look at this picture. Oh, that's a beaut. That's a beaut. Pick, pick up the camera. Look at it. I'm looking at it in the book. But... Oh, it's in the book? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, we pretty much... Uh, there it is. We completed all objectives. We completed all objectives. All right, let's go back in there and collect all of our equipment now. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going <laughs> to leave it. Uh, I'm going to make enough money from this gig to buy it all back right now. All Can right. Can you imagine if you actually had to do that? If you had to actually go in and, like, <sighs> take all your sensors out so you could keep them? That would be crazy, but that would... I don't know. I think that would be cool, but kind of... I don't know. I think it would definitely be interesting, but I, I'm glad they don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was cool. That was a nice quick hunt. $180. Yeah, we, we couldn't have done that one more perfectly. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did not find the bone, though. That's the one thing we're missing. Uh, oh, I'm almost we, level 22. Or 23. We should have made we should have made two hundred and twenty five bucks, yeah. but we didn't get any of the bone evidence because I I honestly didn't even see it. I but didn't. Then either. again, there's a lot of rooms I didn't look super closely in either, but I but, honestly kind of forgot about the bone thing. Yeah. But dude, I mean that was, that was as professional as a as a barely legal ghost hunting team could do, huh? Good job. If you guys enjoyed this, that are watching this on YouTube, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. But with that, the Barely Legal Ghost Hunters are out of here. If you want to be an intern, right, see you in the next hunt. If you want to be an intern, comment down below.